We've known for a while that the ultimate goal for Joby Aviation is to have autonomous aircraft flying around, but that has moved at least a small step closer to reality with a partnership that was announced with NVIDIA yesterday. The market is reacting extremely positively. You can see here shares were up over 10% earlier in trading today, now up a little over 8%. But this is the kind of thing that opens up a bigger market opportunity for Joby Aviation long term. So let's dig into exactly what we learned today, how this potentially changes the company's future. I think we're still probably five, maybe even 10 years away from real, fully autonomous EV toll aircraft. But if that does become the reality for Joby Aviation, this is a much bigger market than it is if there is a pilot in the pilot seat. My name is Travis Holliam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. Thanks to this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. If you go to fool.com slash ASYM, they'll give you their top 10 stocks to buy right now. Let's go straight to the announcement. And like I said, this came out yesterday after the market closed. So Joby Aviation is tapping NVIDIA to accelerate next era autonomous flight and named as a launch partner for IGX Thor. The idea here is that Joby is going to be able to build on top of the Blackwell architecture and NVIDIA's GPUs and leverage some of what's being built with IGX Thor. I'll get to some of those details in just a second, but I think the real idea here is that Joby is not just going to be building these things themselves. You can see the small visualization that they're building, but they're able to build on top of what NVIDIA is doing. What NVIDIA is trying to do is build a platform for translating the real world into a digital world. So they've been talking about digital twins for a very long time, but what they're really doing is creating the infrastructure and the platform that autonomous vehicles can run on and now aircraft can run on as well. That is what Joby is gonna be able to leverage. So instead of having to build everything themselves the way that a company like Waymo did, they can just come in and say, okay, we wanna plug into this NVIDIA architecture and ecosystem. Joby itself is developing what it's calling a super pilot, but the combination is what they're saying is going to lead to a differentiation because they have this world-class aircraft design certification and rig rigorous flight testing capabilities. So the linchpin for Joby is not just that there's potentially going to be autonomous flight. It's the fact that they have an aircraft that's going to be a differentiator when we look at air taxis in the future. I think that's ultimately why I've invested in Joby is because I believe in this future where we're going to be able to call up a Joby aircraft on something like the Uber app and just go to your local heliport or vertiport and take a flight to a city that's maybe even a couple hundred miles away. If you can do that all without a pilot being on board, that's a fundamental game changer for transportation. This is going to be pulling in all of the things you need for autonomous flight and autonomous driving. And that's really the through line here is that this is more than just one product. That's why NVIDIA is involved and it makes sense to pull in radar and perception processing, sensor fusion. They can do simulations digital twins, all of this stuff can happen on NVIDIA's platform. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. And this Thor robotics processor is going to be used by more than just Joby. They had a bunch of partners that were announced not only in robotics, but also in medicine. The hardware is said to be able to last 10 years. So a lot of GPUs that are used in data centers are expected to burn out after three, four, five years. So should be a much longer life cycle. They note that right here and long-term support from NVIDIA's AI software stack. So this is a step in the right direction for Joby in getting their aircraft to a point where they can actually fly autonomously. What we don't know yet, and we'll hear more on the next conference call is what does their production look like? What does demand look like for aircraft? We don't actually even know what the business model is going to ultimately look like. Now that they've raised enough money to potentially own more of their aircraft long term, they've said that that's going to be the highest margin, the most profitable way for them to operate their business, actually build them, own them, and then you plug maybe plug into a demand partner like an Uber. But we don't know those economics yet. And the company is so early in its cycle that just building out aircraft, building out manufacturing capacity is going to be the next big step. What this potentially does, moving into autonomous flight is potentially make that market even bigger. So if there was a 10x opportunity with EV toll aircraft in general, this maybe makes it into a 100x opportunity. It's like going from ride sharing and having the Uber or Lyft that we know today to going to a point where they're just autonomous vehicles driving around and picking you up. You don't have to pay for the driver. You can have vehicles that can operate 24 seven. So potentially much better economics long-term if that's where we're headed with Joby Aviation. That's why I think the market is reacting, but it is gonna be a very long time before we see even developments like this come to fruition. Look for this to be in testing phase, likely for the next few years, because ultimately the FAA is gonna to have to sign off on this. But I think this is 
where flight is going. Drones are obviously something that have been around for a very long time. This kind of takes that to the next level and people actually flying in the aircraft, especially in small aircraft with autonomous flight. But that's why the stock is up today. So let me know if you think this is a big deal for Joby. Like I said, this is a stock that I own. I think they're making all the right moves right now, but they need to keep momentum in actually getting aircraft off the ground and getting commercial operations going sometime in 2026. We'll learn more over the next couple of weeks. So check back here. If you're looking for more on Joby Aviation, let me know what you think about the stock in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.